and welcome to Hey Team TV. Yes, there's still a lot of hay in the shed, all the way down through there. There is a fair section of square bell hay that is now gone. As in, that's all that's left in this end of the shed. Now, we are on second cut, believe it or not. So, a little bit of education going on here. Charlie is in his new tractor, which would be going with T5140. So he's just getting used to it. It's actually the first time he's actually driven it. It's only the first time we've actually had anything to do with it. In the back right. Yeah, there's quite a lot going on. It's near and on. Want to be on camera? Well, no, it's not. <laughs> he's on no, camera. On. So Charlie's just mounting up his rear spikes. But the difference between this uh, New Orleans and New Orleans that we've got this before is we've got a loader instead of front linkage. Now, that was just because it was on the track that that was set up in the yard of our local dealer. And that's why we got it. And the deal was right, so we swapped. We didn't go from front linkage to a loader. Is it going to be more useful? Well, we've had load tractors in the past and it, it's always useful somewhere. And we've got three machines that already got um, front linkage. So that loader would be slightly different. Again, even though we've got telehandlers, but at least we have a loader, you can go off and do certain jobs. Um, and you've got the capabilities of tractor rather than just capabilities of a telehandler. And if you know what I mean by that, it's like uh, traveling long distances, moving uh, from dung or something like that, but a telehandler isn't exactly the greatest day in the world. And a tractor is even more comfortable. So that's what we're done for. But, Let's have some safety points. Now, especially with carrying bales that size, and we're not gonna carry two on the front. Well, Charlie's not yet. But we're carrying bales this size. We can't have the loader up there because our center of gravity and the center of mass will be too high. So let's say at the moment, the bale being that high, our center of gravity is probably somewhere about here. And the higher we go up, our centre of gravity and centre of mass keeps going up. And that is where you end up getting to a tip over point, especially if you turn sharply. So if you turn sharply and your centre of mass and gravity is pretty high, then you end up tipping over sideways. So keeping everything down low, like so, is very important. I know we're thinking, but that bale back there is up, but there's two of them and they're on the back axles, which are big wheels. And it works because it's not <coughs> on the front point, the turning circle. Does that make sense? So, yeah, that's what we're doing. But anyway, we're on second car, and we're gonna get on with it.
Now, second car, is it good? Well, it's not great, but, but at least we have some. So, you know, positives and all. So here's a swore sitting probably six inches high. Not, not great. Grass length was about five to six inches, maybe seven inches in the odd spot, which is, again, no fur, uh, no rain most of this year. Not bad, like not bad. At least, at least we have some. Um, general part of our plan this year didn't quite go to plan. So we're making as much hay as we can at the moment with what we have. Now, this is good in how it is. I'm gonna take you to the field in a minute, which is like, you're gonna blow your mind. Well, some of you would have sort of seen it from last year. Those of you that tuned in this year, well, it's gonna be a whole different mind scope and visual thing for you. But yeah, second cut is not doing bad. At the moment, we're probably averaging three, will be three four foot to acre ish if that makes sense um obviously we don't make four foot we make these big monstrous bales but three four foot to acre it it's not bad fuel price has come down a bit we haven't used fertilizers which is expensive so costing it's not as good as first cut was but it's not horrendous and as the quite possibly could be a shortage um every bale is gonna count basically if that makes sense i'm gonna take you to the other field so this is what a field should look like and ta -da! yeah so this is the problem we have with chafer plugs now as i said before chafers don't or haven't so far that we've noticed like being in the same ground they were last year they kind of go to new ground. But by having them in the ground, the birds, especially crows, love them. And they absolutely tear the living hell out of the ground trying to get them. So this field, we couldn't take and cut her and do anything. This got topped. So it got topped, smashed to pieces. If I come down here and we have a little look, Unfortunately, there's still some in the ground as there. So the crows haven't done that most fantastic job of finding them out. But what I might do is I might bring the chickens into this field because the crows are already dug it up for them. Um, they probably uncover a lot of the ones that have been left behind but looking around here there's still quite a few but unfortunately they weaken the root structure of the grass which makes it the grass weak to grow makes the grass weak to grow and at the same time um, makes it easy for birds and stuff to rip up the plants but the good news out of all of this it does recover so don't like as annoying as this is this field wasn't performing brilliantly anyway after the drought because it faces south and straight into the sun so out of all the fields around this block this one actually suffered worse and got a little bit burnt up so this one just got topped but hopefully by next year the bloody things will bug it off and the field will be back. Well, the field will be back. Because if you, any of you watched last year, the field that was really bad that I videoed, um, that field is on the other side of the hill. And this year is actually looking pretty okay. So it's not, it's annoying, but it's not like a total panic. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, how else can you get rid of them? Well, to get rid of them, we could go through with a rotavator. But if they come back, and we receive that, that is going to be a bit of a killer. Can't use sprays because the sprays that kill them are the same sprays that you can just kill leather jackets with. And that spray, to my knowledge, is banned, which is really annoying. Um, 
we have heard they have got an intolerance to nitrogen fertilizer but at the price of that at the moment that is a big no-no um, and another method of getting rid of them is going over them with a big very heavy roller um, and compacting the ground because from what the agronomist said and sort of they don't take much to pop if that makes sense so they are all the options that we're aware of at the moment um, but other than the topping and rolling options with everything else going on around the world it doesn't really set you up for wanting to spread loads of fertilizer on it to get their intolerance to nitrogen to go away or um, you can't spray because that's not an option anymore it's a bit annoying unless you sort of you know maybe buy it on the black market and get it sent in from another country which is banned in yet but you know that might be frowned upon so that's it but anyway i'm going to talk about this because i've got to go rat bales so what was looking at a good day is pretty shit and that's me trying to freaking keep my uh, temper in check right now but yeah um because of this really light fluffy grass it's got around something and caused a fire because a couple of days ago i had it all like tindering around the exhaust manifold in jcb and i got water to it and managed to stop it but oh man this one hasn't pissing stopped or been stopped so grass the bale no fucking baler sorry my language a bit pissed off I'm trying to be calm anyway i'm going to talk a bit later well i've calmed down a bit now it is what it is just stopped this little bit of fire carrying on down the road because he was sort of trying to grow but yeah, that is shit. What's happened? Don't know yet. I haven't spoken to the old man. But with everything that's happened this year, fires on farms is an absolute fucking shitter. Accidents can happen really, really badly. Doesn't matter how freaking cautious we all are, shit like that happens. And then on top of it, you know, it's not as hot as it was even in the summer. But this super fluffy stuff getting in. Now, what I had happen with the JCB the other day is this sort of stuff got in around the exhaust manifold, and as that's hot, it just keeps drying and it keeps drying and drying and drying until it sort of then smolders, sparks, and goes. Now, all this sort of thing happens, you keep an eye on it, but there's so many parts of a working tractor that get hot. There for me. Where did you where did the old man say the fire came from? Underneath the pedal box. So it came up through Apparently, under the cab. Yeah, yeah I wasn't here. But well neither one of us were here. No. I was down in the yard. But anyway, it caught fire. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it was electrical or chaff, who knows? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It could be a top one, it? So as I was saying, material, this fluffy stuff, if it gets anywhere, not good really not pissing good finally we've got some putting out activity I think less than 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whole thing's gone. Isn't it incredible how fast these things can just go. That's a serious hose. But very much a sad day.
Oh, and I've just noticed there's a bale still burning in, in the back of the bale. Oh. Always a farming. So the last bit burning is they're digging out the bale on the inside of the chamber, which the kindling right. material is kind of smouldering of the bale and constantly keeps relighting. So that is they're digging it out and constantly wetting it down, but it's still, every now and again, they pull it out and they catch on fire again. So this bale is still smouldering away. So, I got the other telehandler and lifted her up so we get the bale out so they can put it out a lot faster. Disco Inferno, you uh, intend to happen for a day, is it? No, when you said there was a bit of a disco going on up here, I didn't realise it was quite a disco inferno. But... <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. <laughs> is it too soon for all these jokes? No. No? Could be worse, couldn't it? Reg could have been in the tractor. Are you a fire starter? Oh, well, yes. <laughs> definitely not a fire, definitely Twi not a fire, bloody um, Twist the <laughs> But no, sad, I've got to admit, I did like that tractor. Yeah. She was a lovely tractor, but hey ho, your dad's all right, it's the main thing. Yeah. And this could be replaced, it makes the odds. I didn't ever think I'd ever see a tractor go up on this farm. No. But here we, hey, life's a funny old thing, isn't it? Doesn't matter if you've got old gear or new gear, it goes up the smoke. We've proved this today. Yeah. But I'm going to wrap bales, you're going home. Yeah. Uh, on this note, I am not recording more tonight because I just want to chill out and wrap the bales. I hope you all understand. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet done so, please subscribe. And it's been so long, mate. He's done it all wrong. He's done it all wrong. <laughs> what have I done wrong? You haven't. If you want to find us on, and I go Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Ah, oh, well, that's not my fault. We're out of practice. Yeah, we are way out of practice because you won't let me come on YouTube anymore. <laughs> let's just start those rumours right up again shall we oh no the amount of grief I've had already yeah let's start it again come on there's nothing to do with me saying he can't do YouTube it's not what everyone else oh, not what everyone's been telling me mate apparently you're um, you've been keeping my YouTube money from me they oh. know more they know more than they know more than me oh should we, should we rip this this subject in our next video? The next video, yeah. yeah. We're going to come out and why, why I haven't been on camera. And will I be back? Who knows? But we're going to go through why I'm not on camera. Will I be back? Do me and Justin like each other? Who knows? Find out in the next episode. I can't stand it. I hate him. Yeah. See you next one. Bye. <laughs>